What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. So for those of you who are suffering from skin disease, you know that there are probably two main things that if you could do better, you would feel a lot better with your skin and the healing process would be a lot easier. Those two things are obviously much better sleep and reducing the itchiness caused by the inflammatory immune response. If you can do those two things, you're gonna feel a lot better during the healing process. If done in the right way, salt baths can improve both your sleep and your itchiness with ease. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the full rundown on salt baths, how to do them properly, I'm gonna tell you guys my story with salt baths that led to me healing my eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea. And make sure you guys stick around till the end because at the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a play-by-play -play demonstration of exactly how I do the salt bath. And that's the most important thing that people do wrong is they actually, they use the right salts, but there is one simple trick when doing a salt bath with the salt that makes all the difference. So you gotta stick around to the end to get to that point, but stay tuned. First of all, let me give you guys a little background on how salt baths actually totally changed my healing process. Most of you guys know that I've been cured of skin disease for eight years now. And during my healing process, it took me basically one full year to fully realize the health of my skin. And during that year, the first two to three months, I wasn't doing any type of salt baths and I was struggling heavily with my itchiness, with inflammation, and I was not sleeping at all. And if you aren't sleeping at all when you're trying to heal your body or you're trying to grow muscle, or you're really just trying to be a successful human being, you're not gonna have any movement or momentum going forward. You have to sleep in order to heal. Sleep is sometimes, besides diet and cleansing, is a number one priority. So somehow I stumbled upon some videos on YouTube or a vlog, and I saw some information about Epsom salt baths, Dead Sea salt baths, and all sorts of different type of baths using all sorts of different types of salts. So I became super interested and I started experimenting with salt baths right away. What I noticed was, is that at the first, salt baths didn't really do too much until I figured out this little trick that I'm gonna share with you guys in a minute. Um, but once I started doing salt baths correctly, here's what happened. So here's my routine. I go through my day, I do my normal thing, and then every night before bed, I would do this. I would get a salt bath all set up. So I would put the salt in, I'd get the bath set up, I would turn all the lights out in the bathroom except for some candles, so I'd make it super vibey and super relaxed. Sometimes I'd put on some meditative music or maybe like a mellow documentary film or something that I could just chill. Then what I did is I jump in that bath and I just sit there for about 15 to 45 minutes, really letting the minerals, the Epsom salts, everything just get deep, and I mean deep into my body. For me, the salt baths provided instant relief from my itching. It didn't take it fully away, but it made it so much better. And salt has, and salt baths have magnesium in them. And when you enter the world of magnesium, and you get enough magnesium, and that's kind of the trick, is you have to get enough of the salts in the bath, a lot of it. A lot of magnesium in the bath will actually put your ass to sleep. So for me, I would get out of the bath, and then I'd go directly to bed, pitch black room, lay down, and I would be lights out. And never in my life I've ever experienced that deep of sleep. It's been my favorite and best sleep hack of all time. So I was taking basically the salt bath every night for about eight months and month by month by month by month, I noticed that my sleep was as good as it could possibly be. And from month one starting the salt bath until month eight doing salt baths when I was totally cured, my skin itchiness was at an all time low. Even though I was still having some flare ups, even though I was still having some skin issues, the scratching my skin until it bled or waking up in the middle of the night, scratching my scalp till it was bleeding, that no longer existed. And when you sleep really good, 
And when you no longer are itching your body in that horrible, gnarly way that we all do, it makes a huge difference in the healing process. It allows the cleansing and the detoxification to do its thing. It allows the nutrition and the customized diet plan to actually heal your gut biome finally. So that's my story with salt baths. Um, let me get into a little bit what types of salt are best to use, and then I'll show you exactly the amount of salt to use and how to do a salt bath the way that I used to. So we'll get to that in a minute. It's really easy and you can get salt, quality salt anywhere, drugstores, Target even, um, and there's a range of costs. So, and I always say, get the cheapest stuff that will have um, all the value that you need. As long as it's good, get the cheapest stuff you can. But there is dead sea salts, there is sea salt, and there is Epsom salt. All of them do something slightly different and you can mix all of them in a single bath. But what I say is get one of each and see if you can feel the difference and rotate them. So maybe one day, start off a couple days doing sea salt bath. Then for a couple days, do the dead sea salt mineral baths. And then for a couple days, do the Epsom salt baths. They all have slightly different things that they bring to the table and they will give you slightly different nutrients. It's good to have a wide variety of those nutrients also. When you experiment with the three different kinds, you can kind of find which one works most perfect for you and stick to that more often down the line. Okay, and now for the most important part of the video, and this is where most people who are using salt baths never get the full therapeutic value of the salt bath. One second. So, cheap Target Epsom salt. Um, I've been using this stuff for three days and it works absolutely wonderfully. Last night, I slept 10 hours. I took an hour long salt bath with the method I'm about to explain. I slept 10 hours. People, I'm a generally like a six hour a night sleeper. I sleep deep. My body needed rest and I needed some extra help and I was shooting this video today so I'm like, I'm gonna dose on Epsom salt and I did. Okay, so here's the key takeaway for this entire video. When you do a sea salt bath, an Epsom salt bath, or a dead sea salt mineral bath, you wanna use at least half to three quarters of this entire bag in each bath. The recommended dosage on the back of these containers will not suffice. And that's also why you wanna to try to get the cheap stuff, the most affordable stuff because you're gonna be going through a bag of this every two days. Now luckily this guy's only like $4, so you know, two bucks a day for amazing sleep, I'll pay that for the rest of my life, no problem. I'm sure most of you guys will too. And also to get rid of the itchiness. So all you do is you fill up your tub with water and when it's about halfway filled with nice hot water, you dump half of this bag into the water and just mix it all around. And take some time to mix it all around so that you really get it saturated and you get all of the salt crystals. Um, if they're still on the bottom and you can feel them on your butt and on your feet and stuff, that, then you need to mix them up more. Or you put it into too cool of water. You gotta have hot water to make this work really well. And a little caveat, taking baths and taking hot showers and taking hot baths does not slow down the healing process, it speeds it up. Every single one of my clients who fully avoids showers and baths all the time does not heal as fast as people who I work with who do salt baths. So I think salt baths are absolutely amazing. Sorry for the caveat. But you gotta use hot water, warm water at least. Make sure it's all fully disintegrated into the water. And once you're there, then just slowly get in and enjoy your bath. I will say this though, my friends, if you pay a little attention to the ambiance of your bathroom, especially at nighttime, it's gonna make the sleeping process way better. So if you have a very stimulating bathroom with tons of lights on and like a real noisy fan, you're gonna to wanna to change that up a little bit. You know, maybe just put like a night light in there or a couple candles. You're really trying to set the stage for yourself to get ultra relaxed, to get into that totally really theta style brain activity so that you can fully heal. The deeper you can sleep each night, the faster you can heal. All of the healing happenings is happening while you're asleep. 
It is the exact same thing as working out in bodybuilding. Muscles are not built in the weight room. They are built in the bedroom while you sleep. Healing happens while you sleep and rest, so therefore, focus on it. Diet and nutrition is obviously the number one key. Cleansing and detoxification aids the healing of the gut biome with the diet. But then things like salt baths, sleeping better, relying on relieving the itchiness to a certain extent really holistically rounds things out and allows you to go from not having success to full success. What I urge you folks that are trying to heal your skin is to look at the big picture and not just do one little thing and think it's gonna heal everything. I haven't really ever worked with a person who just took out gluten and everything healed, all their eczema went away, all their psoriasis went away, it just doesn't happen that way. I've worked with over a thousand people, so I have a pretty good database for this stuff. People who heal do it holistically. They cover a customized diet, they do cleansing and detoxification, they move their body on a daily basis, and they do these little tricks like salt baths and dry brushing and the Thai squat and all of the other stuff I'm pumping up on this video. All of this stuff, is in the three phases workbook, by the way, which you can get at holistichealthactivation.com. Um, and I think that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Sea salt baths, dead sea salt mineral baths, and Epsom salt baths were major game changers for me. When I need to have a beautiful sleep, or when I need recovery from you know overworking out, or going on a crazy hike through the Grand Canyon, or climbing Mount Whitney, the stuff that I do for fun, salt baths really help that as well. They're a great tool for less inflammation and better sleep. I would say do them every day if you can. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this today's video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Smash that like button if you liked it. Remember guys that this healing process takes some time. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself the space and freedom to mess up a little bit. Get back up if you fall down and just keep moving forward. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You can heal your skin. I believe in you. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my private clients, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. All of my offerings are down at the bottom in the description box, guys. You can find a link for Skinessa down there, which is basically the world's finest skin probiotic. It's absolutely amazing. I take it daily. Most of my clients do. Um, there's a link for ButcherBox down there. Um, there's a link for the Three Phases Workbook down there. Everything I offer, links are in the description box. Guys, I really appreciate all of the um, support and all of the sharing of these videos that's been going on in the last few months. Um, we're really getting the ball rolling hard again. Um, and it's nice that during this kind of weird COVID time that we are all able to kind of focus on our health. Shh, don't tell anybody, it's a great time to heal. But anyway, guys, much love to you. Um, I wish you the best of luck healing your skin I know firsthand how absolutely hard it is. Best of luck to you, much love, and I'll be back with many, many videos. What did I just say? Many, many of these. I'll be back with many more videos really soon, my friends, peace. So here's one of the cool things about Epsom salt bass and sea salt bass, is you can source good salt anywhere. As you can see, I'm at a totally corporate, suburban chain of stores, Super Target, and I'm gonna go and get some sea salt or some Epsom salt that will work perfectly for my nighttime bath. Stay tuned.